The future is looking very bright for Star Wars games, and I could not be more excited. I hope you guys all had a happy new year and are having a very good start to 2021. Before I get into the news today, I want to go ahead and thank everyone for the recent support on the channel. The number of views and new subscribers have been uh, just so awesome to see, and I really appreciate it. And if, like I said, if you're new, consider subscribing because I will do, I'm doing Star Wars gaming news and uh, speculation videos going forward. But yeah, with that, we're going to go ahead and get into the news today. So like I said in the very beginning of this video, the future of Star Wars gaming is looking very bright. I really couldn't be more excited. A couple of weeks ago, about two and a half weeks ago, I'm a little bit late on reporting this news. About two and a half weeks ago, somebody on Twitter by the name of Darth Venderus asked a Lucasfilm employee named Matt Martin saying, how are you, Matt? I was wondering if I should be excited for the future of Star Wars games, considering EA closed the doors on Battlefront 2 back in April. Hope you can answer. To which Matt Martin responds saying, I haven't been this excited for the future of Star Wars gaming in a long time. That's all I can say, unfortunately. Now, after hearing this, that makes that should make every single Star Wars like fan excited for what we're going to get in the future. Now, and, and yes, this guy brings up a great point that, you know, Battlefront 2 got cut off and we really don't know what to expect from Star Wars games in the future. Um, there's like leaks going around that the Lego Star Wars game will be releasing this April or this spring. As for the games from EA, there's not really any official news. Now, if someone were to ask me what do I think is going to be coming, I, I think a lot of things can happen. And I really think that EA has looked at Star Wars games in a different light because of the success of games like Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition, Jedi Fallen Order, as well as Star Wars Squadrons, especially Squadrons, because that's that specific type of a game was taking an old series, the X-Wing versus TIE Fighter series, and rebooting it and breathing new life into it and putting a lot of tender love and care into their product. And a lot of people love that game. I, I love that game. They added two new ships because of the amount of people that, you know, love that game. So what do I think this means? Well, I think that in the future, we can expect to see a lot of, uh, you know, older franchises getting new new, uh, new titles because of the success of these of that game. I would also I would also argue to expect games like, you know, I think we're getting a Jedi Fallen Order sequel. I think it's already in development at Respawn. There's already confirmation on that. But um, I think that we are going to be expecting to see some some new Star Wars games uh, this year, as well as, uh, you know, the years going forward. Uh, I don't know what Star Wars game was going to be releasing this year, but I'm going to be making a video of that in the future, talking about what I, what kind of a Star Wars game I'm going to expect to release this year. Because if you ask me personally, I don't think Lego Star Wars is the only Star Wars game you're getting this year. But uh, I'll make a, that's a different video. I'll talk about that later. But yeah, like I said, this tweet is really, really, really nice to see. When uh, you have somebody who works at Lucasfilm, Matt Martin, who is a Lucasfilm story employee, I think that's what his Twitter bio says. Uh, he works for Lucasfilm, and he's saying that he's never been this excited for Star Wars gaming. Now, that could mean so many different things, and this everything I'm saying right now going forward is speculation, of course. But to hear that from a Lucasfilm employee, somebody behind the doors who knows what's going on, that's really good news. Now. What games would I like to see? I mean, I'd love to see, you know, Battlefront 3. Uh, maybe, maybe like an open world Star Wars game. A lot of people really want a Mandalorian game, which I, I would love to see. I'd love to see like a bounty hunter game, kind of open world. Um, Cause you know, the Mandalorians, they got the TV show. That's kind of where that that uh, story is right now. But, um, but yeah, I'd love to see anything really Mandalorian or, or Bounty Hunter related. Um, like kind of like people were saying like Red Dead Redemption 2 and like having bounties and stuff. And I think that would work really well. I think like a Republic Commando type game would work, but it's like Imperial that could work. Maybe a Bad Batch game that could work. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I think honestly, we're gonna have to just wait and see what kind of news we get from EA. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we're gonna have to wait to see what kind of news we're getting. What kind of games do you guys wanna see released in the near future from EA? Because honestly, I think EA has so, they, they could make so much money if they just listen to people, listen to the fans, and they understand that we will give them money if they make a good game. I mean, EA, you have to do something with Star Wars. You cannot just sit on Star Wars. 
because like think about it almost every year we've either had a star wars game release or we've had a star wars game that's been updated and i, I you know from ea from ea we've had a star wars game release or a star wars game updated uh this year there's no star wars game being updated or released by ea that we know of uh i'm, I'm gonna talk about this more in another video but i think that we're gonna i think it's, we're gonna expect to see something surprising from ea this year i really do because they they literally they have to give us some sort of a news update they literally do i mean they can't just be silent for a whole year but yeah more on that in another video coming soon uh like i said before i just want to thank you guys so much for the support on the channel we are at like 6500 subscribers which is a uh in the past like 30 days i've gotten like 300 subscribers and i really am so thankful and blessed that you guys enjoyed my content and uh i i feel like i've finally found you know what kind of content i'm really passionate about making um you know i grew up watching videos like this talking about star wars on youtube and speculating what kind of games we'd like to see and so i i really i'm really excited that you guys are watching my videos and commenting and talking with me about you know what you'd like to see and I, I really appreciate it, um, especially, you know, when you leave comments and likes, I really appreciate it because it lets me know that you guys like this video and you enjoy this type of content. And I know every YouTuber says that, but I do my best to respond to every comment uh, or, or heart it. Um, I, I typically try to respond if I'm not working on a video. Once again, guys, I really do want to thank you guys so much. Um, as for as for the schedule of videos, I am going to continue uploading because I am still on holiday break for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, so you should expect to see a lot more Star Wars gaming videos and maybe some live streams as well. Just talking about Star Wars. I mean, I, I'm really excited for 2021. I really am excited to see where this channel goes and where Star Wars goes as well. We've got so many cool things for Star Wars coming this year. We've got like the Bad Batch and we've got uh, the Book of Boba Fett, and we've got the Visions. And like I said, we know that the Skywalker Saga is coming out um, potentially in spring, but as for the the news from EA about their Star Wars games, we don't really know anything, but I definitely think we're going to be getting a lot of news from them this year. Uh, I'll make a video on that in the near future. Probably my next video will be talking about when we can expect to see some updates from EA and whether or not we'll be getting another Star Wars game this year, because I think it's a possibility. Um, I think we can either get a new Star Wars game this year, or we might just get a bunch of news about upcoming Star Wars games. But uh, hey, maybe we can get both. Uh, but with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Uh, like I said, if you're new, consider subscribing as I tend to post Star Wars gaming news and content. And thank you guys so much, and I hope you all have a great 2021. Do it. Do it. I do am it. the Senate. Do it.